So in this video we're checking out the Green Hornet from iFly RC. This is basically the budget version of the Bumblebee that I reviewed about a week or two ago. And the main differences between the two, so they're both Cinewhips here, obviously three inch props, same props. The main three differences are going to be the camera. Uh, you have a budget camera, the EOS 2 versus the Bertel. And then you have a budget stack, so this is in this on the Green Hornet. It's a budget version of their flight stack, uh, but it's pretty similar to the one that's on the Bumblebee. And you have a budget version of their 1408 motor, same KB, 3600 KB, but so they're calling this a cinematic uh, 1408 motor, so it's a slightly different motor from the Bumblebee, but it performs pretty similarly, just at a lower price. So everything else is the same, the frame is the same, the, the PLA ducts are the same, obviously a different color. The VTX is the same. Uh, this one here is the same uh, XM Plus receiver version, but if you look at the price of the non-receiver versions of both of these, it's about a $90 difference. So the Green Hornet's coming in at $179 and the Bumblebee's coming at $269 for the uh, non-receiver version. So you save about $90 going with the uh, lower cost components on the Green Hornet, but performance-wise I think it's pretty similar. So if you're looking for something a little bit more value oriented or maybe you want to get into sending whips but don't want to spend as much money um, yeah, this is a good route to go at $170 is a pretty good price uh, another thing to note is that the Green Hornet only comes in this analog 4S version currently uh, whereas the Bumblebee comes in uh, 4S and 6S versions as well as analog and DJI digital so if you're looking for 6S or DJI digital then you'll have to get the higher priced uh, Bumblebee version now the Green Hornet and the Bumblebee do come with additional mounts. I think the ones for the Green Hornet are only for the Hero 6, 7, and 8. Um, and I don't have any of those cameras, so I had to kind of jerry-rig my own little mount here for, in this case I flew the Cadex Orca camera, and, and the Bumblebee I flew the GoPro. So the footage on here, um, the way I mounted this, has a bit of jello. Keep in mind that if you, you do get the uh, purchase the actual mount for your Hero 8 or 7 or whatever camera that, that is this is designed for, you're probably going to have way less drill than I did in my video footage, just to keep that in mind. Anyway, so overall, not a whole lot of differences. Obviously, you know, the main difference is being uh, economical, more budget, lower price. Performance-wise, pretty similar for this class of 3-inch Cinewhoops. But uh, if you want to see what the Bumblebee uh, performs like, uh, check out that video. I'll link it down in the description, and I'll go ahead and show you the flight demo of the Green Hornet now. Alright, it's a little windy. I'm going to try and fly sort of slow and cinematic here. It's a lot of multipath interference from these metal buildings here next to me. You see the wind's pushing me around. So I'm going to try to follow them more deliberately here. Pretty loud. If I stay low and close to the buildings here, not as much uh, wind.
can see uh, all these metal buildings here. Not the best uh, place to fly. And the uh, HD video is from the Cadex Orca, not the GoPro, like on the Bumblebee. So if you guys are wondering why the video looks different compared to the Bumblebee, that's why. I keep getting these link quality warnings on my FPV feed, strangely. Never seen that before. It's just a regular XM Plus receiver. Maybe it's because of all the reflections on the uh, metal buildings, perhaps. But yeah, you can hear when the wind kind of hits it, it starts acting, it starts sounding kind of funny too. And you can fly nice and slow, no problem. And I think obviously in indoor conditions with no wind, it's going to have nice, pretty smooth video. But yeah, I would recommend a GoPro and like um, Real Steady Go. If you want really ultra smooth footage, that's what most people are doing with uh, the Cine Whoops. Anyway, pretty similar to the Bumblebee. That's what I expected. There's not a whole lot of difference. It's just they're just using some cheaper electronics to lower the price. It seems like it performs pretty good for the price. And if you're on a budget, then yeah, this is uh, definitely a good way to go. Oh, the wind's starting to pick up. You can hear the wind hitting it. That's the wind hitting it. The motors are compensating. All right, I'll bring it on in here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.